sorry in advance, guys, or not in advance, but sorry for not getting your mid-months out. I have um, just been pretty exhausted, so I've been trying to get my energy back up, so I am here now. Thank you all for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Those that donate, those that would like to continue donating, this, this really does help me keep going, and it definitely keeps me in an energetic space to be able to provide these readings for you, okay? You can check the description box below. And I'm also taking personal readings for this month as well, okay? We are moving into a new year, new decade. How exciting is that? I hope you all have been well. And in, in tapping into your energies, Aquarius, I feel like some of you are leveling up, okay? I'm feeling like there's, there's this beautiful gold energy surrounding um, some of you right now, okay? I feel like right now you're in a space where um, you're... You're, you're finding things that were impossible possible, okay? You're creating in the impossible, okay? So that just means to me that you're just kind of leveling up your um, knowledge and wisdom. Things are looking good for some of you as well, okay? So um, let's move into, I'm going to pull a few oracle cards for you. We'll get into your recent past and current energies, get some advice for you as usual, and then the outcome and close this out, Okay. All right, so what messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2019? All right, let's see what we have for you. The impossible is now possible. Okay, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Thank you. Messages for Aquarius. Okay. All right. So I pulled um, actually four cards for you guys. The, those last three just flew out. I pulled spiritual connection. There you go. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime, okay? I, again, I feel like this is this energy of some of you, some of you leveling up right now, whether that is, you know, you're really tuning in after these months, going into this new year, going into this new decade. There's an energy of really wanting to explore the inner depths of yourself. And some of you are yourselves. And some of you are probably going through, just like I've been saying in all of my readings, because we are going through this shift right now, a lot of you are probably experiencing awakenings right now, okay? And um, wanting to explore that, maybe some of you are feeling out of sorts and feeling tired. This has you fatigued as well. And maybe some of you are just pushing right along, okay? You're pushing through what was the impossible and now making that possible, okay? So this, um, this card is connected to the number nine. I feel like there's a lot of, there's a cycle coming to an end as we're, again, closing out this year and closing out this decade. It's like a, an end of something, okay? Maybe for some of you, it could be an end of relationship, you leaving a job. Maybe some of you are thinking about starting a new career, going into a new industry. Um, there's something that's shifting. And I do feel like, again, it's, it's a really deep spiritual connection because I'm looking at this energy on, look how her... Um, Look how on her forehead, okay? Look how it spirals out into a road, a path, a journey, okay? So I feel like some of you are thinking about a lot of things. Some of you are creating a lot of things. And there's just this beautiful momentum, okay? And I love the fact that this is not a straight path, okay? Because none of us are on a straight and narrow path, right? It's a, definitely a narrow path, but there's an energy of, there are twists and turns on this journey, okay? And sometimes we have to veer off of the path sometimes to be able to come, you know, come back to what it is that uh, we've been trying to create because we need to we need to veer off a little bit to be able to understand certain things, okay? Um, but I do feel like there's a, a coming together and this relationship might be with your spiritual self, your inner self, your inner child, okay? or this can also be with an actual physical person. Then we have have faith, okay? Trust your faith uh, in this situation, okay? So I do feel like looking at this, um, butter, the butterflies and her, you know, <clears throat> her in, um, I just lost my train of thought, but her um, flying into, into the air, just kind of veering off in a, you know, far land, 
and she's happy. But I feel like with the butterflies, they're connected to transformation. Okay. So I feel like, you know, it's almost like spirit taking you on this, this high, this new height. Some of you are experiencing new heights right now. Um, this card is connected to number three. So I feel like maybe your, um, maybe your, uh, your creativity is expanding. You know, maybe some of you have been working on your solar plexus and that confidence and that creativity is starting to burst. You've been working on your sacral. Um, but that energy is starting to, you know, now flow through you and it's just taking you to do to new heights again some of you are probably bursting with ideas for business ventures or projects or um whatever however that looks for you okay oh this is more than this was five cards aquarius i'm just looking at that i thought there were only three there's five cards okay then we have like attracts like so now I'm looking at this. If you long for more love, be more loving, okay? And I feel like this is, again, connected to yourself. Look, it's um, it's adult you and the inner child you, okay? You really having each other's back. You're really tapping into that energy. You're really caring. Um, you're really caring for this inner being that resides within you, okay? You're really loving her, allowing her to expand and to explore, which is that self-care, and I feel like for some of you, you might even be connecting to your mother this month because I'm looking at um, there's like generations. There's three of the same there. If you could see, if you could see like there's a little girl here, one there, and then her there. So I feel like maybe this could be genera a generational thing. Some of you could be breaking cycles. Some of you can be, you know, connecting with your grandmother and your mother this month as well, um, just to really get that love back, you know, or find that love or um, so feel some voids that some of you have been experiencing. Then we have back to what you love, reevaluate your desires. Okay. I feel like, again, you're going on a journey again. There are more butterflies, a lot of transformation. I feel like you're looking at your journey from a different perspective now as you're moving forward. Okay. You're not seeing things how they used to be anymore. Um, for some of you, that could be a little scary, and that's okay, but this is like the new journey. It's a new journey, new perspective that you're developing or have developed, and now you're able to see things differently clearly as you're maneuvering on this road, this new journey, okay? You are limitless. You can do anything you choose, and this is the energy that I feel like I'm picking up with the impossible is the possible is now possible. The impossible is now possible. Okay. You are limitless. There is no lack in limitation. There's no scarcity. You are limitless. Okay. Not limited, limitless. And then there's four. Some of you are just the number four. You're creating structure and stability in your world right now. I'm also picking up on some of you, this color blue of expressing yourself, being able to communicate, but from a place of love now. I just feel like a lot of things are shifting for you right now, Aquarius, and I think it's a beautiful thing. And I'm hoping that, um, you you know, you've been taking the time to rest and to reconnect because uh, that definitely helps. But that does let me know that the energies have shifted from a couple months ago and that, you know, some of you are really in this space of self-love. You're actually taking care of yourself now, okay? All right, let's get some, let's get, pull some cards for your recent past or your current energies. This is what you can be experiencing right now or something that you um, were, have already experienced, okay? All right, what message do we have for Aquarius? Oh, that one flew out, I'll take it. What messages do we have for Aquarius for the recent past or current energies? Thank you. All right. In the center of your energy, Aquarius, is the Page of Cups, okay? So I do feel like there are new ideas, new love being birthed. Some of you are really tapping into your intuitive faculties, and you're allowing yourself to just be in this flow, this ebb and flow, and you're really trusting the process. You're building faith. Um, I feel like, again, you're, you're feeling a little bit more confident in the things that you're seeing, feeling, hearing, the things this knowing, okay, because you're really allowing this energy of, you know, of truth to, you know, overcome you. Some of you are probably, you have some creative opportunities that you're, you know, that are coming up for you. Um, some of you are getting like these, 
you know, intuitive messages, being curious about things, which is totally normal, right? But the big thing is I feel like impossible is now possible. So I feel like there are a lot of possibilities that are coming around for you right now, okay? All right, so that is at the center of your energy. Then we have the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like there's this energy of some of you have been in the darkness. And I feel like I'm feeling some of you are probably feeling this now because you're feeling fatigued. You know, you're just feeling like you can't move. You're feeling like a debilitated sort of energy for some of you. Some of you might be in pain, you know, due to just physical exhaustion or your health. Um, some of you are experiencing painful endings, whether that be in relationship, career, however that unfolds for you. Um, but there are like some deep wounds, some loss. Maybe some of you are in crisis as well. Maybe this is the energy for some of you now or some of you have just experienced this, okay? Then we have the judgment call, okay? So needing to make a decision, old things coming to the surface. This could be, you know, putting some of you in a crisis, in an emergency. Um, or this could be, again, this could be your health, okay? Some of you could be struggling with some health issues um, right now from everything that you've endured this year or these this past these past seven years because i really feel like this transformation phase of for the planet really began in like 2012 and it's been like seven years of just uh, shift after shift after shift and i feel like for some of you with this judgment this could be um you know some of you were kind of like reaching reaching ahead now okay and the exhaustion the fatigue there's illness um, there are elements. Some of you are probably experiencing that. I'm picking up on that, um, that this is probably, this could be a health thing for some of you, okay? But then, you know, there are other others of you too where this could be um, things resurrecting in your relationship. Um, old things that either you swept under the rug or things that um, need need your attention right now, okay, are now coming to the surface and it just feels like an overwhelming energy, okay? Let's clarify. Why is this Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here for Aquarius? Okay. So we have the Four of Staffs, the Eight of Coins, and the High Priestess in reverse okay so i feel like with this you know page of cups here maybe for some of you this is um you're dealing with a marriage here okay or maybe some of you with this page of cups this is a beginning of a marriage or the a beginning of a relationship i do feel like for some of you you've just, just been working working and working <laughs> Working hard at um, working hard at something. Maybe some of you have been working hard at really trying to tap into your consciousness. Okay, some of you have been working hard at trying to find answers. Some of you have been working hard at trying to find answers about this relationship that you're in. Okay, this relationship, this marriage. You're trying to find. I almost feel like it's almost an energy of some of you beating a dead horse. Okay, because with the high priestess here, I feel like you know the truth, okay? I feel like you know the truth in something, but you're not sharing that as of yet for whatever reason that may be, okay? So maybe some of you have shared it and maybe some of you have not yet gotten there with um, really opening up the space to talk about it, but I feel like a lot of things are residing in because I feel like you're trying to work through and sort through some emotions and feelings before you present everything to a person or talk to people about it. You're really trying to find the truth in it. But I do feel like you know the truth in something, but you just have yet to share it, okay? Because um, whatever this is, uh, for some of you with this Ten of Swords, I do feel like, why is the Ten of Swords here? There's an energy of you just feeling exhausted. Some old, some, some old things. You feeling exhausted of some old things. Old things that are coming up, I should say. And again, this could be in a relationship, job or career. This could be some of your, you know, I feel like, again, just mentally exhausted. That's, that's what I'm feeling too, this mental exhaustion, okay? And I think some of you are trying to sort, be, sort behind what's real and what isn't, 
okay? What what you're feeling? What are you, are you are you making up something? Are you making it up, or is this actual? This is what's happening. This is what it is, okay? Because that page of cups is about intuitive messages, but I feel like some of you are processing all of this information, and I feel like some of you are starting to understand what the truth is, and you're you're trying to you know rid yourself of this mental debilitation and move into a new cycle, okay? And then make some decisions about whatever it is that you need to make decisions about, okay? Which will clarify that card. So with this 10 of swords here, I have the two of cups, eights of coins, and the hierophant. Well, this is, um, you know, good energy. I do feel like, though, this is a relationship, okay? This is a relationship that we're talking about here. Look at the center uh, is the um, eighth of coins and the two of cups there. So I feel like, again, some of you are dealing with a, um, some of you are dealing with a soulmate, possibly a, a twin flame that you're dealing with here. Okay. There's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of love. Somebody's trying to offer you something and maybe this is an energy of you wanting to walk away, not having the guts or um, having the fear around walking away from something. Um, but feeling like, there's almost this energy with this hierophant, with this hierophant of maybe some of you are feeling like you haven't given 100% to this relationship or you're ready to walk away, but you're just like, you're kind of exhausted. You don't know what else to do. You probably, you think you need some order. You probably need um, a mediator to come in. You need to go see, see counsel or something for this relationship because it's just like you're, it's almost like an energy of you're done. It's almost like there's this pattern that keeps happening for some of you, okay? Why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here for Aquarius? Some of you are needing to find some peace. Like some of you are going through some things right now. Okay, you're needing to find some peace. You're trying to find some peace. You, I feel like you're actually trying to slow down. Like you're trying to slow some things down and really listen to yourself and give yourself the love that you need and deserve. Okay. Um, yeah, because I feel like, oh, sorry. All right. Okay. So in clarifying the judgment card here, I have the world in reverse, the judgment again, and the king of staffs, okay? Definitely a relationship, you, some of you. I feel like there's some sort of delays happening though, but I feel like there's a call for something, okay? Double confirmation with this judgment here. Um, I feel like, again, somebody's, I'm looking at this king of staffs. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign. Um, but I do feel like there's like an energy of somebody waiting for you to make a move to do something. And I don't think anything's going to happen until you make the move. Okay. I, I, I just don't, I don't, I feel like you are going to be like the initiator in trying to make this relationship work. You're the person that calls the therapist or finds research as a therapist makes the appointment, make sure your partner gets there. Like it's just, it's a lot of energy. Okay. And it's almost like I feel like some of you are delaying delaying this process because it's just like you're you're already tired. You're not the one, you know, you're not the one has that has, you know, that has the the major issue in the relationship, or maybe you are, um, but you're still feeling like again, you're holding someone up. Someone it's almost like someone's using you as their crutch. Okay. And it's just a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Let's get some advice for you, Aquarius. What advice do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Five of Cups is here, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine, the nine of Swords, okay? So yeah, in the center of your energy is the Five of, um, the five of Cups here, okay? So I do feel like some of you might be experiencing a, a phase of regret, failure, disappointment, you're being pessim pessimistic about something. I feel like there's an energy of you focusing on something. I feel like there's something that you're something that you're not seeing or something that you're putting behind, some emotions that you're just kind of putting behind and focusing on one thing, almost one thing at a time, but it feels like, you know, things just need to be 
need to be taken care of because with this nine of now with this nine of swords and this nine of swords falls right under the ten of swords okay with this nine of swords this energy is definitely like you know keeping you up at night it's um giving you anxiety and wor worry fear some of you might be depressed having nightmares um or this because this is in the the advice portion this is you know we'll get into what you what you can do okay basically the page of pentacles is here we have so we have that as well where um some of you are trying to focus on manifesting something manifesting financial opportunities and abundance trying to trying to develop a new career i mean a new skill set but i feel like there's again i just feel like there's an energy of a delay but i'm also looking at this page of pentacles with that golden light and the and the backdrop okay the light that i'm seeing that's surrounding some of you okay i do feel like you guys have the ambition you have the creativity you have the confidence to move forward with something that you're wanting to move forward with but i do feel like it's like a slow moving process okay maybe some of you are just needing to digest more information or research or something or waiting to you or, or waiting or wait till you are in a, a mental mind frame okay but the intuitive messages that you're receiving right now are just that intuitive messages okay they're true when intuition kicks in it is not a lie okay <laughs> When your intuition speaks to you, do it. Go forth with it. It is the right thing. Okay. So if some of you are doubting that, doubting that because you're mentally exhausted or you have, um, or you're just feeling overwhelmed right now, tune in, meditation, prayer, journaling. Journaling is also a great thing because you get to write your thoughts down and allow yourself to just keep writing and writing and writing. And you can start asking questions and connecting with your guides and you'll start getting these messages start that start coming from um it's like it's telepathic communication okay it just feels right in your body and it's almost like a body a body mind spirit sort of process as you're journaling and it's just like a knowing that this is what i'm supposed to do this message seems like it's from the divine not something that i'm thinking okay so there's a difference. It's kind of hard to explain sometimes, but if you've experienced it, you'll know exactly what I mean, okay? So um, let's see why this Five of Cups is here for you. Why is the Five of Cups here? Thank you, thank you. Why is the Five of Cups here? So... With the Five of Cups, clarifying that, I have the Three of Staffs, Knight of Swords, oh, the Nine and the Ten of Coins, okay? Some of you right now need to um, keep an eye out on something that's coming in for you, okay? Um, with this... Um, with this three of staffs here, okay? So I feel like some of you are preparing for something. There's something that's coming in. You're expanding in some sort of way. And then we have um, the Knight of Swords here, okay? This is about ambition, action-oriented. It's about, you know, drive, succeeding, fast thinking. So I do feel like you have that on your side right now, okay? This Knight of Swords can definitely be your energy, Aquarius. Um, some of you are just, you know, need to, some of you are independent, some of you are single, um, some of you need to be single, um, cause some of you are focused on something. Maybe some of you are focused on a relationship so much that just isn't serving you anymore. You're focused on family or some of you are wanting to, some of you are single and wanting to start a family cause look, we have the nine and the 10. So I do feel like, um, some of you are thinking about with this, um, with this 10 of pinnacles here, so you're thinking about wealth financial security. You think about your family, long-term success, contributing in some sort of way. So I do feel like your energy is probably focused right now on getting the bag, okay? Where, um, or maybe it's focused just on a relationship, okay? But I feel like there needs to be some sort of balance, okay, that you guys need to um, really start implementing into your, into your life, okay? 
and this is just a, this is the self care. So if some, for some of you that are, you know, are not doing it or are doing it sparingly, do more of it. Okay, when you think you're not doing enough, when you think you're doing enough, do more of it. Okay, why is this? Why is the nine of okay that wanted to come out? The nine of swords here. Why is the nine of swords here? That's too many cards. Why is the Nine of Swords here? One more card. Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords for Aquarius. That wanted to come out. Okay. Oh, and it came right back out. So I have the Temperance, the Queen of Coins, and the Seven of Coins. So again, I feel like there's a lot of, you know, things trying to unfold in your physical world, tangible things, the things that you're trying to grasp, things that you're trying to create in your world. Okay. And it's going to happen. I do feel like also that some of you are probably dealing with an earth sign because earth is really strong in this reading right now. Okay. So you could be dealing with, um, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn energy, um, Sagittarius as well. So I do feel like some of you need to get some healing. Some of you are needing to get some healing to feel aligned because you have been really burdened. Okay. You have, you have a lot of things on your shoulder and I feel like I'm feeling like some of you are needing like a chakra alignment. Okay. And I feel like with this chakra alignment is going to bring that golden energy, that golden light. Okay. That I saw in your channel message at the beginning. Um, I feel like this is going to help align you to really, you know, first off, relieve the stress and then get back to it. Okay. Jump back jump back into it. You know what I mean? Because it's it's weighing heavy on you too, because everything is about um, tangible things. That's what it feels like. Your view, your, you know, you're trying to create, you're trying to be and, and be in this space, be a boss, build an empire, all of this, but you actually need some healing. Some of you could probably even use some sexual healing. I'm just saying, okay, but I'm not going to go there today. <laughs> Why is this page of pinnacles here? So definitely meditation, prayer, journaling, and um, healing, okay? So I offer energy healing sessions. You can check the description box there. I do also remote sessions, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. I can tap into your energy and help you out with that, okay? So, or you can find a, your local, you know, Reiki healer and definitely go in and have somebody lay some hands on you so that you can relieve some of the stress, align your chakras, and um, just feel relaxed in your state so that you can also feel very clear and moving forward and, and, you know, get back to business as usual. With this page of pinnacles here, I have the five of cups coming back out again, the eight of swords and the death card could be dealing with, again, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And then we also have Virgo, Taurus, and, Cap and Capricorn, I already said, on the board. Okay, a lot of earth energy here. I do feel like, again, with this page of pinnacles, some of you are, I kept hearing worshiping. Some of you are worshiping. Mm. Maybe this could just be this five of cups, this worshiping could be connected to you. Maybe some of you are starting, you need to start a practice. Okay. You need to start a daily practice, a daily um tune into my energy, see how I'm feeling kind of practice, okay? Spiritual practice, conscious practice, however you want to do it, okay? But I feel like that practice, again, you can incorporate meditation, prayer, journaling, um, walks in nature. You can also do, um, what was the other thing? Oh, healing, okay? So for those of you that have never experienced it, maybe that, that could be your treat. Maybe once or twice a month, you're going in to, you know, just get realigned and, and get clear. Um, I do feel like you're needing to focus on that because the tangible things are going to come because that's what you work at all the time. That's what you're working at all the time. You're working on financial opportunities and abundance and success and creating things for, for now and for the future for you and for your family. So that's always going to be there for you, Aquarius. But right now you're definitely needing some healing because I just do, again, with this eight of swords here, we have the five of cups and the eight of swords but with this eight of swords i feel like some of you are just really in your head right now you're in your thoughts and they're not it's not a good it's just like self-imposed infliction right now okay some of you are feeling inflicted are imprisoned um you're feeling like 
you're in, it's almost like being in a victim state. But with this death card here, I'm definitely feeling like that's, I mean, it's time for that to end. Okay. Definitely time for that to end um, and stepping into something different. Okay. That's coming to an end. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I definitely feel like you got it. I feel like it's time for you to develop some sort of daily practice, um, some sort of con self conscious practice that could also be um, saying affirmations and mantras. Okay. Spirit is just telling me that too. Affirmations, mantras, meditation, journaling, praying, um, and then also incorporating your healings in there. Okay. That's some advice for you for this month. And you definitely need it around this holiday season because it's like, and that's probably why some of you are just, you're trying to do too much. Maybe some of you are working overtime, um, just exhausted. I feel like there's just a lot of stuff going on in, in your mental, in your mind frame right now. And you really need to decompress. Okay. All right. Let's get some the outcome. What's the outcome for Aquarius? What's the outcome? Thank you. Seven of Swords. Could definitely be your energy. The outcome. What's the outcome for Aquarius? Thank you. And I have the lover's card in reverse and the tower in reverse. Okay. So two major arcana cards. These are things that are coming up for you. Things that are going to transpire. Okay. I do feel like, well, the seven of, um, the seven of swords here is about betrayal, deception, you know, getting in the way of something or acting strategically. Okay. And maybe this is, you know, I feel like some of you are trying to be strategic in your approach when it comes to relationship. Again, I feel like some of you are with it in a twin, but have been in a long-term relationship with someone. It could be a twin flame. Um, it could be some sort of, um, soulmate tie, soulmate energy, just, um, I just feel like I'm feeling the energy of you guys have been together for a long time. This could possibly be a Gemini um, or a Scorpio energy. But I do feel like you're wanting to walk away from this. I feel like you're going to walk away from this, okay? Um, with this lovers in reverse in the tower. No, I, it's going to be a slow process. I feel like you're in the stages of being strategic on how you're going to walk away. That's what it feels like. Because with the tower here in reverse... And the lovers, it's like you haven't walked away from this. You're not you're not going to be walking away from this person like right now. It seems like you will be, but I feel like some of you are trying to be strategic in your approach. Okay, maybe you're trying to get all of your affairs in order before you walk away from this. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify why the lovers is here. Why is the lovers here? That's a lot of cards. Oh, that's a lot. Of, that's too many spirit. I can't do it right now. I'm sorry. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Okay. We have the nine of staffs. Could be also be dealing with the fire sign, a water sign. The tower is wanting to come out again. Okay, I'll take those. So um, nine of staffs, three of cups, four of cups, three of coins. And the tower is coming back out again, okay? All right, so I do feel like, you know, some of you are dealing with, again, a Gemini. You could be dealing with an, uh, a fire sign, a water sign, um, or possibly an earth. So I do feel like you're waiting for something. You're trying to be strategic, okay, um, with this. With this nine of with this nine of stats here, you're trying to find the courage to do this. Okay, right now I feel like you're you're being tested in some sort of way, but I do feel like I'm feeling this energy of coming together, you being social, maybe talking about this with friends. You know, I feel like you're needing to get out and be more social and have a good time. Maybe some of you are just, you know, if you're not working, you're cooped up in the house with this person, and it's just too much, too much time together. And I think with this Three of Cups, you need to get out, okay? Get out and have some fun. And the Four of Cups, maybe you're contemplating this, but then we have the Three of Coins, okay? I okay. This could be a third party that somebody's playing around with, okay? It could be you or your person. 
but I do feel like an energy of maybe some of you are trying to be strategic with this. Maybe it isn't anything, maybe it's something just friendly right now. Maybe you haven't done anything crazy. Um, when I say not crazy, but you haven't like stepped out, like fully stepped out physically, emotionally, but I feel like maybe someone has like caught your eye and someone that you're thinking about. You're maybe someone you're watching or somebody that's watching you. But I do feel like there's this energy of you creating some sort of vision or idea of what life could be like with this person because you're wanting to walk away from your current situation. But I don't think you are going to just yet. I feel like, again, you're just trying to, you're testing the waters. That's what I feel like, okay? Some of you are testing the waters right now. All right, what, why is this tower here? Why is the tower here? Three of swords. Yeah, this might be, because look, I got the three, I have the three of swords, the three of coins, and the three of cups. It's a lot of threes going on. This could be an ending. This could be an ending. Okay, I'm going to leave it at the three of swords with clarifying this tower card, okay? Again, I do feel like it's it's maybe like slow moving or I feel like you just, I feel like there's a knowing of something. Maybe you know that there's a third party. Maybe it's you, maybe it's your other person or maybe it's your person. You know that there's something going on um, and maybe you're just not talking about it, but you're trying to be strategic in your approach before you bring this information up, okay? But it does feel like, I don't, I don't feel an energy of like, it being a horrible thing. I don't know why. I don't feel an energy of you being upset about this, okay? Um, I almost feel like an energy of like, you know, you kind of don't care. You're already tired of this situation and you're ready to go. So you're like, oh, somebody else has, you know, got their attention. So go, go on, you know, have fun. Do you, I'm going to do me. Um, so I do feel like it's that energy, okay? But for some of you, this could be, um, you know, a devastating situation for some of you. But at the end of the day, I feel like there's going to be a death and a rebirth, okay? And again, this might be an ending for you and someone that you've been in a long-term relationship with. And maybe for you with this lover's card in the reverse, maybe it was a soulmate, but a karmic tie, okay? So maybe you guys came into this lifetime to, um, to, Play, finish out whatever it is you had the residual energies from another life and you're just kind of you're done maybe this is I'm feeling like this could be just like the end of the cycle so not only is the relationship over but there's an energy of like this is the last time you guys are in this kind of situation this energetic situation moving forward in other lives okay like you're cutting the tie right now you learn what you needed to learn from this person and then it's done okay so that's what it's coming to okay it is like this, this cord is like severed. It's going to be severed between the two of you, okay? So um, do I want to pull an oracle? No, we're kind of over the time, but all right. Um, so that that is what I have for you, um, Aquarius, and moving forward, okay? Happy holidays. Happy new decade. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like it if it resonated with you. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you'd like to donate, schedule a personal reading on energy healing. My information's in the box below. Follow me on, on Instagram at spiritualpreneur. And thank you all so much for your support in starting this channel a couple months ago. I am grateful for you, Aquarius, because you, you give me like the most views. You guys are like pretty much staying consistent. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the support um, in moving forward. Let's get this 2020, this new decade um and let's let's have some fun let's 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 create some some great memories so shoot me a comment below let me know if it resonated with you what you're going what you're experiencing and how you're planning to move forward in the new decade okay thank you so much for tuning in and i'll chat with you soon bye guys